Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of The Simpsons Hit and Run. So we're going to get right into The Simpsons, take it from the top. I'm going to keep my mouth closed while you watch the intro here. Then we'll take her from level one with Homer Simpson. Alright, that's the intro. So now we have our little menu here. Gonna go straight into a new game. Hey, hey! I'm endorsing a new cola, kids! And this one isn't poisonous to anybody! That we know of. New and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient, too hot, for the FDA. It'll give you the get up and go you need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved Buzz Cola. Mmm, cola. Must get Buzz Cola. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna jump right into the actual gameplay. This first level is a tutorial level. We're gonna skip the uh, tutorial controls we know them already. Uh, we're going to try and do this as a 100% walkthrough. All right, player one. Disable the tutorial. So now when you pause it, level progress, this is what I'm talking about, 100%. You got seven story missions, a bonus mission, three street races, seven collector cards, three character clothing, five vehicles, 20 wasp cams, and 15 level gags. So we're going to try and do every single one of those things before we progress to the next level. So this is, most of you probably already know, it's kind of like a child-friendly, well not necessarily child-friendly, but more child-friendly uh, version of GTA using Simpsons characters. You can drive around a uh, couple levels, you can kick the crap out of people, but you know, there's no, there's no killing, and actually you can't even really steal cars, you actually just kind of jump in the passenger seat if you ever actually notice. So you get to explore Springfield's pretty decent sized level and uh, just before we get into the main tutorial missions here I'm gonna run around and collect a few collectibles here's one of those uh, cards so we got seven of these in every level homemade football they're all Simpsons uh, things from the episodes and then level gags like I say these are the level gags here these little Y button things and wasp cams so we're going to need, if we're going to do an actual 100% walkthrough, we're going to need quite a few coins to buy all the clothing and all that stuff, so... I'm going to kick some of these boxes and just get as many coins as we can. And after I kick this box, we're going to go actually progress. Might as well get the first mission out of the way. In the top left corner, you'll see Marger's face. That's the uh, active, or not so much the active, but the mission that we're going to go activate. That's what we have to do. And in the bottom right hand corner, that's our hit and run meter. If that thing fills up, Chief Wiggums comes after us, chases us down. And the blue dot is where we go to get our mission, which is Marge. Give her a little motivational kick. So this will, uh, you'll see the, the yellow in the bottom. That's the, if we fill that meter all the way up, that's when the, the cops come after us. So, but, but like I say, everyone just kind of bounces back. Like we can drop kick her right in the face and <laughs> she, doesn't really seem to care. So let's get this first mission going. Told me somebody ate every dessert in the house. I need you to run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. Well, it must have been one of our kids. Probably Millhouse. 
All right, so this is mission one. This whole level is kind of a tutorial level, so everything's pretty much straightforward. So we're gonna hop in the family stand, follow those nice big green arrows over to the quickie mart, talk to a pool, and buy some ice cream. So if you played uh, the Simpsons Hit and Run, you might notice some of the phrases that they say are fairly similar. And uh, it's it's not exactly a prequel because it's a completely different concept, but it's slightly similar. So before we go talk to Apu, I'm going to kick this machine to get some coins. So we're going to want to collect pretty much every coin that we can. And I'll show you once I get into the actual Quickie Mart here. Uh, what we're going to be looking at needing as far as coins go in order to purchase all the things that we want to purchase. My metabolism has been slowed by so here's our mission. Hey, Apu, give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this morning? Well, I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. Now we collect our ice cream and mission done. Oh, mission complete. Go back home and talk to mom to start the next mission. So now I'm going to show you. This is the clothing rack. There's a few of them around the level. So we're going to need 100 coins for Homer's underwear, 125 for Homer Moo Moo, and 150 for Homer the Chosen One. So so just for our costumes, we're going to need 375 coins, which uh, shouldn't be too hard. But as we go through the levels, it's going to start becoming more and more expensive. So I'm going to try and keep these videos around 17 minutes, or 15 minutes. This is a level gag. So like I say, we can go back to uh, level progress and see exactly what our progress is coming out to. So. We'll go back and see what Marge wants next. Actually, before we do that, we're going to explore around here. We might as well get some some of the stuff from this location. Oh, I hope do not press means press right away. So I think this game came out in 2003, and in case you haven't noticed, I'm playing on the GameCube. It also came out for the PS2, the original Xbox, and the PC. And uh, I remember buying this game, actually. We... We went to EB Games. We used to we used to have a bunch of PC games, and uh, we found out that EB Games back then was taking PC games as trades. So what we did is uh, we burnt all our PC games onto burnt discs, and then we uh, took the originals and dropped them off at EB Games, and they gave us some money for trading. And then we would buy stuff for our GameCube, and this was one of the games that we got. They actually had it on their uh, demo machine and once I played it on their demo machine I just I had to get it. I was a huge fan. I still am a huge fan of The Simpsons. So it really fit right up right up the alley. It's one of the better games that I think I've ever played uh, on the GameCube system. Kind of that generation of systems. It's super fun. It's just entertaining. So now we're going to talk to Marge again, see what she wants us to do next. Only Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh, do I have to? You can drop it off on the way to work. And I have to go to work? All right, so next we're dropping off this. I think it's a display of the digestive track. It's been a long time since I've played. I don't think I've played this since probably 2004, 2003 when it came out. I remember when I was when I was back in that time, the the final missions are actually pretty hard, and uh, I couldn't beat it, and I put it down for like two months. But uh, so this is this is a race mission. This is one of the types of missions you're going to see in this game. Uh, usually, it's going to be you know race the clock or collect the items or race the other computer player 
or destroy the computer player. So in order to not fail this, we have to beat Principal Skinner to the school, which shouldn't be too hard. It's good to know your level, especially this one, where we're going to come back to this one, I think, three times throughout the game. And uh, like I say, the final mission set is going to be here, and it's, it's actually fairly difficult if you don't know your way around the level. So we're going to collect some better cars eventually. Actually, before we go see Lisa, right quick, I'm just gonna. This is the phone. Any any phone boot we can we can call in a car. So this is the only car we have now. Uh, the family sedan, like you can see, the speed is terrible and the acceleration is not very good. Uh, we can get these are the ones we can get in this level. And like I say, we're gonna try and get every everything we possibly can before we move on to the next one. If it gets too long and boring looking for one item, we'll just we'll skip it. We'll come back and get it in a later video. So this is the school. Like I say, it's it's pretty good at how much you can explore. There's always things, and like this is I don't know what Mr. Burns is doing. Oh, he's stealing something. And like I say, you 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 never know what you're going to see exactly. Calibrating the protractor. So now let's talk to Lisa and get on with our next mission. Thanks for bringing me my model of the digestive system. Hey, where's the gallbladder? I got hungry and it was a fig. It was modeling clay. No. By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Go! Oh! In your face! Alright, so that mission's done. Now I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, see, now now we got one mission. So there's multiple parts to missions. So uh, I think that is the first actual mission of the seven mandatory missions that we need to advance to the next level. So then down here now we'll see right here somewhere is one of these kids here. Oh, no, it's this guy. He's got some dice above his head. That's a, a race. So if we push Y on him, it's a wager race. Costs us 20 coins. Uh, if we beat the race, we get 60 coins. So that's one of the things that we have to do. I'm actually not going to do this. I'm going to wait till I get a fast car just to make sure. I don't want to make any cuts in this. So when I fail, you'll see it. And I don't want to fail. So we're going to progress through the level a little farther. Get some better things. So since we're, we're coming up close on the time limit that I want to set for these videos here, I'm... Um, Instead of running back to the house right away, I'm just going to explore a little bit and maybe talk about what I hope to do here. Basically, I just want to complete the every level, 100% it, and uh, I'm, I'm going to try and make it in as few videos. Hopefully in 15 minute breaks, it won't take too many videos. Uh, I'm going to try and upload one, at least one a week, and uh, hopefully we can get it done in a decent time frame. But uh, anyways, as of right now, we are done the first main mission. So I think instead of prolonging this any longer, running around town, not doing much, I'm going to actually end this video here, and thank you for watching. If you want to see the rest of the video, subscribe, and you'll get a notice when they come out. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.